I'm so excited. Yeah, eh, eh, eh. Ah. I love Super Smash Bros. Oh. G'day guys, it's Jara here, and on today's very awesome episode, today we are playing my favorite, one of my favorite games, Super Smash Bros. Deluxe. So this is on the Switch if you want to go get it. It's an amazing game. I've been playing a shit ton of it on my personal account. This is the YouTube account. Um, so none of it has been done. So we are just going to do a quick, well, we're going to do a little bit of the adventure. Start that off a little bit, and then the next episode we'll just do some simple summation. Um, so it's recommended to do normal. We're gonna do normal because we ain't no easy peasy lemon squeezy gal, and I don't need no expert. Um, neutral in this game, I like to say. I don't care about the intro, I already know what's up. If you want to watch the intro, it's somewhere, it's not here. Mario, I don't care about you either. So let's, let's do it. Mm, 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 mm. Alrighty then. We are one of my favorite characters, actually, to play on the Super Smash, which is Kirby. He a gem. Love him to bits. Pretty sure it's a he. I'm going to say he, but if the pronouns are they, I apologize. But we're going to go straight into Smokey Brog. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can use spirits. Woohoo. So, just so you can have a look. It's a bit different, so normally you have, like, spirits. So right now I've got Justy Belmont, and then you can have like support spirits, which I don't have any currently, but we're going to fight. So again, simple switch, I'm not going to, I'll try holding it up here for a little bit. So this enemy, which is Mario, will occasionally turn metal. Mm, it's a bit laggy, but that's okay. The reason why he's also not Mario's colors is because this isn't actually Mario, who he is, is like a carbon copy. Because the real one is stuck somewhere, as you kind of saw briefly for a moment. Okay. So just always remember I'm player one, or P1, if you don't know. And I love this game to bits! I play this with my friends whenever they come over, because they know my obsession with the game is of the extremist. And I'm not saying I'm nowhere near good at this game, because trust me, there are plenty of other people who are 100% better than me. But I just love this game way too much to not play it on the channel. Again, I just love it a lot, so there are some bits I'll be like decent in, but most of the time I'm gonna be pretty bad, as you can clearly tell. And also Kirby's one of my favorite characters to play, not because like he's cute or whatever and like such a girly character, but like I just love the way he fights. It's the one I've played with the most, so I kind of know a mechanic, like I know how he works and stuff like that. The one I do love playing the most, however, is Pit. That's a win. Um, Pit is just an amazing character who I love and adore. So this is what happens at the end of Super Smash. You get little snacks, skill sh spheres, and I don't know really know what coins do yet. I haven't really gone into that, but basically I'm rescuing spirits along the way, which I use to destroy other people. And it's really cool because it comes up with little, like, you know, fun facts or trivia for all the trivia nerds. AKA me. So I'm just gonna do a couple rounds of this. Just, you know, playing different things. I don't really know how this is gonna work, like editing wise, but you guys will obviously see the final product. Um, so yeah, have fun with it pretty much. Cause I love this game, let's go. Okay. Oh, okay, hello Evie. good to see you. Okay, I don't care about you Yoshi, you're like, Okay, now there's another one. That's not what I wanted to see. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore Eevee because you seem to do nothing. Oh, give me the lemon. No, I want I want the sour lemon. Why does that one have curry? Okay, that's a bit unfair. Fire on fire. Granted, I probably could have gotten the fire, but that's... Wow, I missed three times. That was amazing. Good work, Jara. Goodbye. And that's the game. So obviously the further you get, the more complex it's going to get. I might do just like a like probably three more fights in this one, and then I'll show you my version on my personal account. Just because I have so much fun with this game. I played a fair bit. I've got a couple of hours put into this. And by a couple I mean probably like 
possibly in the high 30s or 40s, which to some of you was like, huh, nothing. But to me, it's, it, it's, it's kind of a bit. Can I have both? Oh, my other spirit. Oh, it is that one. Sorry. Brain just finally clicked into place there. I'm not sure how well this is going to go. I'm just going to stop stressing and have some fun. Oh, I completely wasted that. But you know what? It's there. Ah, good old Jigglypuff. I'm not really a big fan of Jigglypuff. Not one of my favorite Pokemons. But one of my favorite Pokemons is, however, is Chansey! Because I just... If I was a Pokemon, I would be Chansey. Because that's just who I am as a person. I love to... I'm like the mother of every group. I love to heal people. I love to make sure everyone's okay. Safe as sound. I feel like that's Chansey. It's like the mum of every character. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. It's... Okay, I want to... Come off it. I had that. Goodbye. Victory is mine. Um, but yeah, no, this game is just a lot of fun, and I would love to play with friends recording this. I don't know, we might do that later, like in future episodes when I have friends just to come over in general. Not that I'm saying I don't have friends, but like, you know, I need friends to come over. <laughs> Sounded so lost. Oh, we got our first character to fight. So, as you can see, the captive fighters are being copied to create puppet figures, which is what we saw before. The only way to free them from their, from Gallum's control is to defeat them in battle. So I'm going to currently defeat Mario in this battle. So my objective, obviously, is to just, as it says, conditions, win the battle to awaken the fighter. If I win the battle, he becomes, he comes on my team, and I can play as him if I want. Which is actually pretty cool if you know how to use the character. So obviously, if you're not great with Kirby... You do get to use the rest of them. You obviously just have to unlock them. I am yet to find Pit, so if any of you know where Pit is, let me know, please, because he my man. Oh, no, 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 let's not die. We ain't about to die on this. No, thank you. No deaths today. Uh, no, no, Mario. Did you not hear me? I said no death, please. This is a no death run. No one zero deaths. That would be great if I can do it, because it makes me look like a semi decent player, even though this is just like the easy stuff. But you know, it's okay. Okay, eating flour gives me heals. That's cool to know. Mario. Sweetie. Sweetheart. You're, you're a sociopath, according to MatPat, and I respect him a lot, so we don't like you. Or like, just please go away. Honestly, you and Luigi are like the pools. Although, if any of you have watched, like, god damn, I need to be paying more attention. Anyway, even if you guys have seen, like, Tana, she's now engaged to Jake Paul. I don't know anymore. I actually like watching Tana stuff, though. Um, because I am curious as to how much of this is real and how much is just for the clout or, you know, for, you know, views and whatever. But if they are, like, they seem to be, like, really well, at least as, maybe not like a couple, or even if they are a couple, like, best friends, they seem to work really well together. So, I'm curious as to how much of this is obviously real and how much is fake. Um, but yeah. Keep watching for Janicon! <laughs> but nah, I just... I think they're quite funny. I wasn't really a big fan of Jake, but then Tana's making me like Jake, and I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this. Shay made me, like, neutral to Jake, and now you're making me like him, and I'm, I don't know what's going on with the YouTube world. I used to not, like, dislike Jake. I just wasn't a, I wasn't a parlor, as you could say. Granted, I don't really think most people are. So, that's my tea. So, it's... I'm not dying to Mario again. That's not gonna happen. Not, um, uh, excuse me, Mario. Goodbye. That's how it was supposed to be last time. We'll just cut out the, the losing. 
Right? Right, Aiden Jar? Mm -hmm. Cool, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. I, I want to find Pete in this game, so if you know where Pete is, please let me know in the comment section below because he's my man and I need my man in my life. And I've unlocked a lot of areas, which I'll show you in a minute or two, but. Okay. Um, we'll do this one and then we'll swap over to my account. But yeah, if any of you can tell me where I can find my boy, hit me up. Um, yes, it's a little glitchy here and there on the computer, but that's because it's running through a lot of programs. But you know what? That's okay. It's funny, I when I first played this, like, as a proper playthrough for the first time, I had zero idea how to use the spirits for a long time until I randomly clicked on it. So now playing with spirits, I'm like, hmm. I blame the spirits as to why I'm doing so badly. So this one, as you can see, before I quickly kill him, uh, is a, was a HP round. So basically you had 100 HP and you, it was whoever could kill him, the other person first, wins. It wasn't a matter of, like, you know, percentages or whatever. It was just how much you can get the HP down by, which is good. Then later it comes to, like, timed ones or stuff like that. So they mix around a lot, which is actually a lot of fun and really cool. I just love the art style of this game. So fighters will wait at each... And the cross right ahead, carefully consider which fighter to awaken first. So on my playthrough, I've awakened this one. But there's Martha and Sheik. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I'm gonna unlock Martha in this one. Um, yeah, there's the four types as you can see. There's attack, shield, grab, and neutral. So this one's an attack. So I'm gonna fight Marth. Or Martha or however you want to pronounce it. I'm sorry if I'm in pronouncing all of the names wrong, but that's just who it is. And there's a variety of characters in this, which is really awesome to see. I wish Wal uh, Waluigi was in it just to make all of the American fans happy, because Waluigi's not really huge here in, in Australia, so I don't really care either way if the Waluigi's in or not, but like, you know, just to make everyone happy. Come on, Martha. You're a I like saying Martha, even though it's like Marth. I don't know, Martha just sounds like such a girly name. Which if you have, that's great, but like, I don't know, for her, for the character that it is, it just seems like it's such a weird name. Thank you. So now, Marth is on my team. Easy, simple, quick, efficient. It's just, that's all you do, and you keep going until you've unlocked the entire map, which I'll just show you quickly. So, there's also adventure skills, which I was going to go into next. Thank you, game. So, yes, nurse is yo-yo. If it will let me... So, I haven't gone this way before. Um, so, yeah. Now the hand's going to block them off, so I can't like, go to them. So, if I try, it won't let me. So, next is that one. So, this is the entire map. So, you have this entire clouded area to unlock. But I'm just going to go through the menu quickly. So... You've got the skill tree, so basically you use those skill uh, spheres to either, you know, to open one of these and you pretty much just learn how to do these better. So, for example, you could be like, slightly increase the power of your tilt action, slightly increase the power of your neutrals. So, for this one, I'm going to do that. And then I can go either that way or that way. And you keep going until you unlock the whole tree, pretty much. So there's not really too much in there. It's just, that's what it is. You can see all of your spirits in here. You can level them up, dismiss them, or summon. And then you can look at your party. So I'm just going to look at the fighters. Currently I have two in this one because I just started it. So I've got three. My apologies. So you got, you know, Marth, Kirby, or Mario. I always have Kirby because I like Kirby. And yes, you can change the colors. And that's for every character. So I like having blue just because I think it looks nice. Kirby looks great as blue, in my opinion. Looks great and everything, but I like it in blue. So I'm going to quickly just jump on... Uh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to quickly save. And just jump over and you know, quickly show you how it all works. Just, you know, like how my map looks. Um, you can also just do Smash where you just fight out. But, pardon me, I like doing Spirit or well, World of Light. So currently I've played for 12 hours, done, I've awakened 23 fighters, space is cleared, 181, and I'm on normal as you can see. So, I'm going to just show you my map. 
and then possibly do a fine here just to show you the difficulty and end the episode. So this is my map currently. As you can see, I've done a little bit. <laughs> I've done majority like the center because all the red circles with the white dash through the middle means I can't go through. So damn, I play a lot. <laughs> it, you don't realize until you zoom all the way out. But I'm just going to try this fight quickly. So I'll show you my list. Um, so these are all the fighters I currently have. So as you know, I've got 23. But just to show you which ones I have. These are all the ones I currently have. So you've got Mario, Link, Yoshi, Kirby, Fox, Pikachu, Captain Falcon, Lucas, Snake, Marth, Dr. Mario, Sheik, Bowser, Jigglypuff, Olimar, Olimar, I don't know, Lucario, Villager, Mega Man, Wii Fit Trainer, Pac-Man, Duck Hunt Duo, Me, Soul Fighter, Isabelle, and Inkling. So again, I'll stick with my boy Kirby. I always go with blue. I just wanted to show you the fighters that I choose, and you can change them all throughout the game. You don't have to stick to one. And then for my spirits, I have a fair bit of spirits, so we'll just look at primary. These are all the different spirits I have. So these ones are currently on a mission, which I'll check in in a minute. So if you can see, they're all different levels. So I'm just going to quickly show you all these. And for example, I'm going to click on this one, right? Um, which is not great for this level, but I'm going to level this one up. So I can level up with the snacks, which I was talking about. So I'm going to go, cool. Green ones are the smallest, yellow is medium, red is large. Red is hardest to find, but I'm going to do one of these. Bring us up its level and two of these. Which helps a little bit. The higher the level, the harder it is to bring up. But, okay, so I know that I'm finding an attack one. So grab is not the greatest. So I'm going to do a blue one. And I need something higher than 1,800. So I'm going to look at my blue and be like, oh, you're higher than 1,800. Cool. And I'm looking at these two. This is the main ones I picked. But I will show you all my other spirits. So these are my side spirits. Each spirit does something different. So, and or take up different spots and things like that. So I have a fair bit of different ones. I've got a couple new ones. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go back up to the top. The ones I currently use the most are the critical health attack, which is this one. Lipstick equipped. And I kind of toss around between Professor Chomps, which is stamina, or whatever the task really needs. So I'm going to go back with you. And let's fight. So I haven't done this one yet, as you can tell, because I haven't fought this. So the enemy favors neutral ones, and I'm versing Simon. I don't know who Simon is, but good on Simon for being in the game. So as you can see, there's 10 of them that I'm currently fighting. Not 10. Wow, I can't do math. No, 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 so I'm currently fighting three at once because that's fair, right? So now I'm fighting none. So they are supposed to be a lot harder, but I did that pretty easily, eh? And obviously the more you play with the spirits, the more they level up. Which is really cool. And the area is always really fun. Some are challenging. Some of them have like mist or whatever. Oh, didn't mean to click that. So we can go down or we're going to go to here. We're going to go here quickly because it's timed and the enemy has favored specials and it has a jump increase, which is great. I love that. So I'm going to see if I have a green that's higher than 4,500, which I do. And because it's jump is higher, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might put you in. So this will be the final spirit we'll fight and if I can pass it then we'll go to the chest open that up and end so this is a time battle so i have to defeat all four of these people in a minute and 30 seconds which is a lot harder than you think especially if they're annoying little buggers why am i being electrocuted oh because of you oh okay hello okay i just okay I didn't want to do that because I have a minute to kill you. Come on. Please just die. I need you to die. Thank you. 
So if I hadn't have done it in the 52 seconds, I would have automatically lost the level. Just so you know. You know how hard the level is depending on what little trophies you get at the end. So how many spirits, skills, and how many like snacks and all those things. But yeah, I just love this game to pieces. Ah! What I get in the chest? So I got some skill spears. So I'm going to check on my little adventures. Because I got two checking, well, I got four spirits checking the runes. So basically, you send them in, they come back at about six hours. Oh, welcome back! Find anything? I can't do a toad voice, I'm not a Jacksepticeye. <laughs> so they found 525 spirit points. Again, I don't really know what they do, but good on them. And then, yeah, we'll send some more. I just kind of send like the low level ones just to kind of go in. The ones I think I won't use. I try and send in like a red, a blue, and a green, and then a neutral if I can, but at the end of the day, you don't have to. Again, I just send in my lower levels, so then they can kind of go up a level. So can I do this? So you can do rank ascending. Is that what I want? Yeah, sure, we'll do that. So I'm like, yeah. And if they've got, so if you look at the like first spirit, there's two arrows in it, which means they will do a lot better. But again, I... I'm still not going to put this one in because it goes down, so I'll just put in you. And I'll tell you to depart and have fun. Be safe, my spirits. So they're all trudling along and I say, keep it up. Keep it up, guys. And I'll check on you probably tomorrow morning or, you know, tomorrow sometime. So they have two hours. And it just does the same thing. This one is the same, but in caves. Um, mission complete. And then, in this one, I get... All of these things, which I don't really know what they do anyway. So if anyone can let me know, that'd be great. Because I have zero idea what they do. And I just kind of keep this going. I don't... You know, like, it's pretty chill. Like, there's nothing to really do. You can train your spirits in dojos. I haven't really found a purpose to do that yet, so... Hopefully there isn't too much of a purpose. Um, you know, I'm just going to send you in. And I'm going to just send in another neutral. Because you know what? Why not? Uh, we'll do you. Because then it's just going to the green one's going to go up. Because the rest don't need to go up in levels. Don't ask me why. I have zero idea. But you know what? Keep it up, guys. Alright. So we unlocked the chest. That's great. So we're going to go into the skill tree. So this is what my skill tree kind of looks like. All of these like colored ones I've got. So. Oh, we're lagging a tad. So, I've got 29 currently. I don't really know what I'm going for next. I don't really use shields. I don't, I'm not really going for the shields. Um, yeah, I, I don't really go for shields. So, I kind of just ignore the shield ones. So, I'm thinking of going for this one, which is 80. No penalty for dodging. I, it, it just really depends on what you, you are specializing in. But this one's also good. So when I get 40, I might go for that. It just depends on what you're looking for. So that is all for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below and tell me any tips or tricks that you have because I love hearing your guys' opinion on things. And just knowing in general. Like, just anything. Just let me know in the comments below. So before, you saw, like, we started here, went across. But now, we battle the bows. So, and it's really good. I don't, don't need to, like, see the walking so I'm gonna save it here so I know I'm fighting there next oh and also if you don't know how to play it's really good that shows you like the controls and everything when you choose the character in the fight you can press a button and it shows you every move it does which is actually really awesome for people who haven't played before anyway I'm gonna end this episode here thank you all so much for watching if you liked it let me know in the comment section below tell me your tips tricks and anything else you want to tell me let me know who Tell me who your favourite Super Smash Bros. character is in the comment section below. And I'll try and get some friends so we can play this together. Anyway, dry out. See you guys in the next video. Whoop, sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. I love this game way too much. Yes.